Hey food lovers, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. First off, I'd like to greet all the fathers watching a happy Father's Day. And a special mention to my husband and father of our children, RJ. Thank you for so much for everything that you do and for being such a great role model for our kids. And also happy Father's Day to you, Jerome. Thank you. <laughs> On today's episode, we will be featuring a clean eating barbecue guide. Jessica will be joining us today and helping me show you that you can still enjoy barbecue season while staying on track with your goals. We will be making a fresh and filling Mediterranean salad, a chicken zucchini poppers, and an ultimate barbecue sauce. These tasty recipes will keep you on target and leaving you satisfied. Let's get started and welcome Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Yay. Thanks for having me, Derry. Thanks for coming. Like, yeah. I always have so much fun when you're on the show. <laughs> uh, thanks. Good. Okay, so today we're going to be making the chicken zucchini popper. Okay. Have you made it before? No, I haven't. Have you tried anything similar? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, zucchini is actually so good. It's like... It's, it's really versatile because people make it into like a, a zucchini bread and I'm like you use zucchini in a bread yeah. but apparently it works right and, yeah and they use like zucchini cake and stuff so. yeah so yeah. we're gonna use zucchini today so we're gonna use um, a pound of chicken that I have in this bowl here mm -hmm. and then Jessica if you can hand me okay so this is the zucchini that I've shredded in advance just because it takes such a long time so you want to shred it into a grater which we did mm -hmm. and then we squeezed out all of the juices so i actually did this about 20 minutes ago to take out all of the juice right because yeah. you don't want watery poppers yeah so we need about two cups of that um let's probably measure it. i don't want to use too much zucchini yeah <laughs> so you want to give me two cups of zucchini jessica and you can just put it into this bowl here two cups oh, wait do you have spoons it's in here right what do you need this need spoons oh spoons oh okay sorry <laughs> So it's funny, Mark Galernick was on the show a few weeks ago. He's been on the show a couple times now, but he knows where everything is in the kitchen. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. I don't even tell him, he just, he just goes and gets what he needs because he knows. So if you're watching Mark, happy, good to see you, Mark. <laughs> yes, I like, love his abs because I'm getting those abs now. Yeah, Marcus, he's getting it, <laughs> it's showing. Definition's coming. Okay, two okay, cups. So we need, yeah, two cups of zucchini. And then Jessica, if I can get you to chop up the green onions. You need about two to three green onions. So we're going to use three because I like lots of flavor, right? Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah, I love I don't, green onions. I don't want bland. Yeah. Cheap no blandness in this house. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though because um, every time I'm cooking, right, and Jerome's over, he mm -hmm. says, oh, Neri, too much salt, too much salt. Too much salt. <laughs> and I say, no, Jerome, it's not too much salt. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a couple times it's a tad salty, but yeah. um, like I grew up with a lot of salt in my food. Yeah. Soy sauce is, and fish sauce is a staple, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like Filipinos love fish sauce. Like, oh, yeah. They put it in everything. But I mean, in most Asian, in most Asian uh, cuisine, I find that that's what they use to substitute salt. So maybe yeah. that's why when they see Actually, additional salt. Well, my mom, okay, so she uses lots of soy sauce, but she still uses MSG in her foods. Oh, yeah. It just tastes good. I don't yeah, know. it's so good. There's such a bad stigma with MSG because it's actually not too bad for you. Like, it's just because in Chinese restaurants, like, they put MSG to enhance the flavor, mm -hmm. but it's, like, combined with fat and the way it's cooked. So mm -hmm. that's why. That's why it's... Not they think MSG is bad, but yeah. it's everything else that's bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so add it in. Yeah, you can add it in. And then, boop. Perfect. And then, Jessica, I have a garlic press here. Oh, nice. My Pampered Chef garlic press. Ooh, pampered. I love it. So we're going to use a couple of cloves of garlic. Yeah, you need those muscles, too. <laughs> yeah, use your muscles. Ah! <laughs> oh, and then let's use another one. Oh yeah, it's like perfectly shaped to the garlic. Mm -hmm. it, it calls for one recipe or one clove of garlic, but I use two because garlic. Garlic is so good. Yeah, so good. And then we need, um, yeah, take take that out too. Use the pulp of the garlic. <laughs> and we need a teaspoon teaspoon each of garlic or sorry, salt and black pepper. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what a teaspoon is? Is um, this a teaspoon? I think ten, 10 turns is like a teaspoon. 10 turns? Yeah. Okay, that was like 15 turns. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, That's eight, nine, ten, ten. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Jerome says it's too much salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too much salt. Okay, and then we have some cumin here. This is three teaspoons. No, sorry, three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin. That's good. And then Jessica, do you want to mix that for me? Mix this one. Yeah, so we're just gonna mix it, and that's pretty much it. That's really simple, right? Yes. So we got the zucchini for that flavor, mm -hmm. and like the veggies. I remember when I heard about zucchini cake, and I was like, zucchini cake, what? And it was so good. It just added like a freshness to everything. Oh yeah, and plus you're eating vegetables, right? It's yeah. always good to have like <clears throat> extra vegetables when you know you're when it's hidden, right? Yeah. Oh, do you want to add the cilantro? Yeah, too? we can do three. Um, what is it? Like a tablespoon. Actually, let's use all of this. Yeah, I love Why cilantro. Not? Yeah, just don't let, let it go to waste. You know, while you're doing that, I can actually okay roughly chop this in. So, so you're supposed to use about what a tablespoon, but we're just gonna use what I have on hand here. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people like love or hate cilantro. I love it. Like my cousins hate cilantro because they said it tastes like soap. I don't think so. Me neither. Well, like they it's apparently a gene that you have. Yes, it's so true. Cause like I was like, what do you mean? It tastes so good. And then, like it just tastes like soap to me like so freshness it tastes like freshness <laughs> okay so we want to roll these out into balls mm -hmm. um this makes about let's say 20 to 24 balls but uh, whatever and uh like how big maybe like a heaping tablespoon yeah okay so let's do this together jessica okay and i i already um sprayed this with some cooking spray and we're going to bake this in the oven. Now, of course, if you have a barbecue, you can you know, always just barbecue this on the grill. But mm -hmm. I actually don't have one. So we're going to bake it in the oven. Fry. RJ would say air fry. RJ would say air fry. <laughs> but you know, not everyone has an air fryer. So yeah. we're just going to use the oven instead. But yes, you can air fry it. And the air fryer is amazing. Do you have one? I know. I'm planning to get one. RJ's like, we're sold out of the... Yeah, we're sold out. Pampered Chef. For now. I yeah. mean, it's not like it's... Good. Permanent. We can always order some more, but I think yeah. it's on back order again. Mm -hmm. Jerome, did you use your air yes, fryer? Yes, I have used it. Oh yeah, used it for fish. Yeah. The fish is so good to put on there. I so RJ's got me on this like plan, okay. and it's just like he's just seeing where I'm at and mm -hmm. how I've been sticking to goals. Okay. And then he's like, okay, this week you're gonna do. X amount of protein and stuff oh, and yeah? I've been just researching so much on like the difference for fish um, fish has lots of protein yeah and beef and pork and every single protein out there to compare to like tofu and tempeh mm -hmm. and I've just expanded like my knowledge for food now because it's it's so fun I love it so the thing about fish did you know that it has lots of protein mm -hmm. well white fish and it's very what's the word it's a uh, very saturated like it, it keeps you full. Yeah. So uh, when I was like really following a diet, I actually used to eat a lot of white fish. Yeah. Because it was so low calorie and it just made me stay full. Yeah. Like I would go and stock up on fish. Yeah. And then um, stop eating fish because RJ doesn't like the smell of fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was fast actually. Yeah. So we have already preheated our oven to 400 degrees. Um, and we're going to bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. so. That's the first one. There you go, Jessica. Thank you. Just pop this in the oven. There we go. And we'll check up on that in a bit. Put this to the side. So next. Now we're going to make a salad. Who loves salad? Me! You know what? It's good to be friends with salad because I love salad. Yeah, salad's my best friend. <laughs> I did my last show with salad last time. Oh yeah, you did three tasty salads, right? Yeah. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be making a Mediterranean salad. Really, salad is just anything you can toss together 
put some dressing over all like olive oil and vinegar and you're good to go right so cucumber. we're gonna use a whole english cucumber it's my favorite i love cutting cucumbers do you yeah <laughs> i like the smell of cucumbers i actually like it in water mm -hmm. and just when you smell it, you just feel happier refreshed yeah um and that's what they put in the spas like when you have water yeah in the spas right it just so yeah like it cools you off super quick and then and you could also like use it for your eyes <laughs> mm. oh kathy bodhi's online hey kathy. hi kathy pauline wong wong is online too hi pauline hi pauline oh frank pollard's on hey frank hi, frank frank <laughs> frank, frank, frank the, the tank, tank. yeah that that's his name frank the tank it's heated. So if you watch Jessica, she's actually de like taking out the seeds out, which I like. That way your salad isn't very um, watery. Yeah, you don't want a watery salad. Yeah. So we make friends with salad, but not watery salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because then you're, all you're doing is taking out the flavor yeah. of it because like, it'll just get diluted. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's why in tzatziki sauce, they take out the seeds so that it doesn't yes water it down yeah yeah and it's actually really easy to make tzatziki sauce it's just yogurt yogurt lemon juice, lemon juice lemon juice lots of garlic if you garlic, want yeah. yeah it's actually really good too for good fats because um a lot of people are like oh when we used to like think that fat was bad for you mm -hmm. it was like not it wasn't a favorite mm -hmm. but now you can use it for everything like dips for stuff for veggies instead of ranch. Mm -hmm. So fats aren't bad for you. You can make friends with fats, but the good fats, right? Yeah, good fats. <laughs> you always hear about avocado and stuff, but yeah. also eggs, whole eggs. Mm -hmm. The yolk is good for you. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can make friends with hollandaise. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe just a little. <laughs> not not best friends. No. <laughs> not too much butter. Butter is so good though. Okay, so you know, I bought this bread. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, like, I really love butter. Mm -hmm. But I bought this bread from Sobeys, and yeah. it's called Butter Pressed Bread. And I uh, ate it, and it's so good. It actually tastes like butter. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I just ate two slices. Like, I don't eat bread very often, but when I do, I want good bread. So yeah. <laughs> that's just a, a good find. Yeah. You I just, found yesterday. You just have to, like, make use of the time that you have for things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jessica, for um, helping me. Yeah, I don't actually, I have to do anything. Jessica's going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I miss cutting stuff. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love like, turning favorites into healthy so you're not, like, thinking you miss out, mm -hmm. you know? And I learned just, like, if you turn your favorites into something healthy, then yeah. you're just going to eat healthy all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know, when you eat healthy, you actually crave healthy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so... Because you eat what you crave. If you eat sugar, you're going to crave sugar. If yeah. you eat salads, you're going to crave salads. Exactly. And you're like, well, if I make, let's say, this past weekend, um, I made like a, a super fatty Filipino dish mm -hmm. that has like like just marrow in it. Which and is marrow. So like, it's just like really boiled down bones and then like oh, all the okay. stuff that comes out of it is That's what... good for you. It's good for you, but then if you have it too much, it's like too much saturated fats. Got it. It's okay to have it once in a while, I think. And it also, when you like have healthier foods, it makes you want to work out and like gives you energy. It also cleans your pipes. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Like you feel better. You feel like you're cleansed. So it's funny. Oh, okay. So I want you to chop this tomato and then okay. these red onions too. Okay. So I did this juice cleanse with Verde juice oh, and yeah. I actually felt good I felt like I was clean yeah and I said to RJ I feel like I'm I just felt different you know yeah. I mean the first thing I put in my body was water obviously I drink you know a liter of water when I first wake up but then mm -hmm. after that I had the juices and I just felt like I was missing out on so many nutrients yeah and I felt I felt clean like it was cleaning out my system for about mm -hmm. three days that's nice mm -hmm. yeah RJ RJ loves like doing those new things and like and it makes you feel like you're you're doing something better for yourself and like yeah well i had a weekend right like we went to clear lake and you know we we're eating we weren't eating bad food but um like i had some cookies and i had some ice cream and mm -hmm. i had some fries like i like it was the weekend right we're out, mm -hmm. out at the lake but i felt like i needed to just restart mm -hmm. if that sounds right just, yeah yeah 
I felt no, good. That's good. Yeah, there's there's times where, like, you just need to always recover, mm-hmm. and that also takes energy. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just like okay, well, I have an en- I have class for like a cardio, and then you go home and you use up that energy to rest. Right. Right. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm still burning calories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, again, what Jessica's doing is she's de-seeding um, the tomatoes so we don't have watery salads. Yes. And you can always keep the rest of it for, like, if you want to make a sauce or something, like pasta sauce or... Oh, like the, the waste? Yeah. Because then that way you're, like, putting more natural stuff in there. Yeah, you can... Or, like, turn it into a veggie broth. Oh, yeah, that's that one, too. It's funny, though, because my sister used to save all of her scraps, right? Yeah. Like, she literally saved scraps when she was on mat leave, and then she would boil it down to make a broth. Yeah. But her son, my nephew, would say, Mom, are you making garbage soup? <laughs> <laughs> or, but uh, people save the scraps. Yeah. And there's actually, um, like, an Ikea cookbook, I mm-hmm. think, where you, there's no waste, right? Yeah. So all the scraps, you turn it into something else. Yeah. So I saw that they made some sort of, like, I don't know, burger with all these scraps. I've never yeah. tried it before, but it's a thing people do. Yeah, it's like um, kitchen sink stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what we call it. Uh, kitchen sink stuff? Yeah, because, like, you have, like, all the stuff that you throw in the sink that just, like, you just leave out or whatever. And you want to use up and you don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah diced all right i'm gonna try to use up this whole onion so anita is online and anita says i had a conversation the other day with my husband he barbecued and doused the nice lean steak in barbecue sauce sigh so when he brought it in i had to scrape so much sauce out of mine before i would eat it well, you're in luck, Anita, because we're going to make a yummy barbecue sauce that you do not have to scrape off. Yes. Yes, you can enjoy your season. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy the sauce. That's what but I this mean. This is a healthier sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so good. But, Anita, so, okay, I'm glad you're watching because I just live off of these sauces. So, um, this is a sugar free barbecue sauce that we picked up from Gorilla Jack, and it's amazing. It's a lifesaver. I love these sauces so much. I actually have a few. Oh, I have their um, honey mustard flavored sauce as well. Oh, that sounds and it's really low calorie. It's um, like 10 calories, but it tastes amazing. So Anita, this is also another sauce that you do not have to scrape off. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, they're at Gorilla Jack. Have you tried the sauces? No, not yet. No? No. Okay, so what else? Okay. Um, I think we should add some olives. Let's see. So I have this jar of olives that I haven't actually used that we could put in our Mediterranean salad because okay. I really like olives, do you? Yeah, I love olives. All right. Whenever I have martinis. Oh, there we go. I have it. Let's add like, I don't know, half a cup or so. Half a cup. Okay. I think I saw it here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So let me clean off the scraps for you. We're not going to save it today. We're just going to get okay. rid of it. <laughs> But would you save your scraps? Yeah, I have a I have a bin at home with oh, all do? my scraps. Yeah, do you because, put it in the fridge? Yeah, my mom's like very uh, bargain. Oh yeah, <laughs> and she goes save where you can. Oh, save what you can. Yeah, she always tells me you're the street smart because you would survive like on the street <laughs> if you ever had to. <laughs> And the resource survive on the street. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So you would be okay, yeah. like if you're in, like, like a, on a survivor episode. Yeah. You'd be able to live. Yeah. She said that I'm very resourceful. I would. And I would not live. <laughs> like, I would just make things work. If I saw a spider, or if I had a bug on you, or if I walked through a web. <laughs> oh. She was always. She always said that I was. I'd always just go off on my own and just do whatever I wanted. So. Oh yeah. So let's add some feta, just okay. because, um, oh man, okay, there we go. I just opened it. I had trouble opening this earlier. <laughs> uh, Jerome had to help me. So I have feta that's still in this brine. Mm-hmm. How much feta do you want to use? I love cheese, so. Oh, you love cheese? Yeah. Okay, so how much feta do you want to use? Let's use okay. half of that. Oh, half of this? Yeah. Okay, it's still in the brine. Okay. And the so one this thing is quite I, salty already. I always learn to just read my labels all the time and see like how much protein 
<laughs> there isn't everything. Okay, if you want to know how much protein, <laughs> so a 3 cm cube has, where's the protein? Seven grams. Seven grams of protein. But this is quite salty already, so you don't want to add too much salt yeah. into your salad. So you want to just taste it as you go. Yeah. And I also have some parsley here for you, Jessica, if you want to add some parsley. Oh, yeah. well, you should add oregano in this. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, of course. I have oregano. Mm -hmm. Oregano goes with everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, the salad's looking awesome. I always leave the stem too, and I save it for broth. <laughs> Oh, do you? Yeah, it's the one of the best things to put. I've tried it with like um, pasta sauce too, and it just adds like a brightness and uh, another dimension to. I'm just gonna add some more olives. Like yeah. I really like <laughs> olives, and I can't see any, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay. Oh, Here. Thank. Nah, uh, I need more. <laughs> So those are olives, and then let's add some oregano. I think we should add maybe, like, I don't know, a tablespoon or so. Yeah, yeah, I have this one here. No, it's, not a, it's a dash. What sounds right, Jessica? Um, I love oregano, so I would put, like, that, another dash. <laughs> oh, another, another yeah. dash. Okay. There you go. <laughs> dash it up. Then okay. romaine. Um, yeah, do you want to add some romaine lettuce? Let's I, put, like, I have it on hand. Let's just do like two. Sure. And then we also need some oil. And we're going to freshen this up with some lemon juice. <laughs> right, so let's do, um, I don't know, I guess like a tablespoon. I'll just add it, Jessica. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. I can smell it. Yeah, it's almost done. tablespoon and then we're gonna add some oil just add like half for now taste it after there was some oil in the cheese already yeah and you can always add more as you go this is so good for summer just because it's like whenever you have like a lot of smoky things um, it just so it, it makes you want to eat more of the smoky protein and it doesn't give you mouth fatigue that I learned and it just Wait, means mouth fatigue yeah what, what is this mouth fatigue you're talking so, about I recently uh, just got really into this show called the burger show on YouTube his name is Alvin he's like one of my culinary idols and he's he owns a butcher shop he's a Filipino cook and I everything that he does is like has a purpose. Mm -hmm. So this show, he used mouth fatigue as a reference to say like, oh, if you get sick of eating something, so let's say when you have like a dessert and it's too sweet, mm -hmm. you don't want to finish the whole thing. That's why they're in such small portions. Mm -hmm. But if you have something to balance it out, like coffee, that's why most people have dessert with coffee with their dessert. Mm -hmm. They um, they finish it because they finish their coffee, they finish their dessert because it goes together. So it's kind of like when you have salad and something barbecued or grilled, it goes together because you finish your food. So that's what my theory is on things. See, learn something new. Mouth <laughs> fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> when you get sick of something and it's just... It tastes good. I, th I think it needs a little bit more. Mm. More, more seasoning. Yeah. You want to add this garlic? Yeah, let's do it. I'll let you do it because you're actually she's a chef. So um, oh yeah, I'm gonna you. And I'm telling you what to do. You should tell me what to do. <laughs> and every kitchen that's not mine, I'm I am the sous chef. So <laughs> I'm the one who helps out and I listen and I love to learn. So and anything I can give to like help. But I love I love just working with people. It's not like I'm taking over. I think we need more cheese. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Just just a little bit more cheese. Put the whole thing. <laughs> put the whole thing? Do you guys want do you want me to put the whole thing? Let's do this. Oh I, okay. I yeah. didn't wanna I didn't wanna crumble it, but I guess I'll crumble it. Okay. Mark actually made a Greek salad when he was here. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, he put the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, you there can we never go. have enough too much uh, like cheese and and things, unless you're lactose or vegan. <laughs> but even then, I love vegan cheese. It's weird. Everyone says you're a chef and you love vegan cheese. I'm like, I don't know. It just has like a cool texture that I love. Okay, what do you think? Oh, I'm just gonna do this. Good. Mm hmm. Yeah, the cheese made a difference. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit here again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Yes, good. Much better. So we're actually just going to let this sit in the fridge for a little bit. Yeah. And then I think we can check on our pressures. Okay. Okay, so I'll let that stay cool. Let's clean up a little bit here. Clean as you go. Yes, clean as you go. <laughs> so Neri, what's your favorite what's your favorite thing to cook ever? My favorite thing to cook? Um That's a good question. I don't think I I don't know. I like desserts. Desserts? Okay. So you're not actually cooking, you're baking, right? Yeah. So baking is such an art. I like to make desserts. Also, when you went to Cakeology, you're just like having the best. I wanted. Time. I, I had a great time. Yeah, I loved it. Okay, so these are our zucchini poppers. I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, it looks done. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we're just gonna let that cool off to the side because we are going to make one last thing, which is our barbecue sauce. So Jessica, I'll just let you. Um, okay. Well, let me turn this on for you. Okay, so, so tell me what to do and then I'll just put it in. Okay, so we're going to start off with half a cup of balsamic. Where's my half cup? Oh, okay. Oopsie. See a quarter cup. Ay. And then you need half a cup of water too. Ay, ay, ay. Here, I'll start this. Okay. So the balsamic and then you need water. So yeah, I'll get half water. a cup. I'll do this first. So it takes two girls to open this. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I think uh, we have to take out the, the wrapper. That was what I was trying to do. Here. Oh, I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. So I'll keep going. Yeah, half a cup of water. Well, then we need the can. Yeah, that's a whole can. You can okay. dump it in. We'll see the bones. Mm, delicious. Mm. So half a cup of balsamic vinegar. I just picked this up from Superstore. Costco has a really nice balsamic vinegar also. That's one. I'm just going to let this simmer. There we go. Okay, Jessica, I'll let you take over again. Then the, this whole can. Yeah, you use the whole can. And that's just tomato paste. Good, because I never use up a whole can. I, I always know, right? end up like having to use or like ha freeze half of it. Oh, you freeze it? I freeze them because um, it still stays in the same consistency. Because oh, I yeah. didn't know. That's a good idea because yeah. I always buy these cans. Mm -hmm. I use three tablespoons if I make my Spartan stew, and then I yeah. put it in the fridge. And then when I want to use it again, it's I like, see mold on top, yeah. so I end up throwing away the can. Yeah. So freezing it is the best. I, I read it somewhere. Good to know. I had yeah. no idea. Same with like your herbs. If you freeze it with oil in like a ice cube tray, mm -hmm. you can save the herbs and then put it in like when you start a, a sauce or something. Wonderful. Okay. So another thing, less <laughs> waste. So save yes. your herbs. You so can freeze it. <laughs> yeah. Next is... We have some... Uh, here I have some granulated stevia, but of course you can use monk fruit or you can use any sweetener you'd like. Or if you want to use some sugar, go for it. But we're going to use some stevia. Yes. It's yeah. natural. Two tablespoons. Or you can use some dates if you want to use some dates, but just make sure that you blend it up so it's nice and smooth. We want two tablespoons of mustard. We have uh, Dijon mustard. I'll just use this. Okay, yeah, so two oh, tablespoons. Actually, I'll use this one. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> one. And then 
another. And then we have some soy sauce as well. That you can just dump it in. Okay. And then we have some garlic and um, onion powder. And then you can add some salt and pepper to taste too. So we'll do that five, two, three, four, five. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. <laughs> it's just been working in kitchens for like 10 years. And I would always do the same recipes every day. So mm -hmm. eventually had to memorize it all. And okay. you just pick up a lot of things when you're doing ev some things every day. Yeah. So we're just going to let the flavors marry. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring it to um, a low simmer for five minutes. We don't want it to boil, just a low simmer. Okay. Just for five minutes and that's it. Woohoo! And I noticed clean eating is like, it doesn't take a long time to like cook. No, not at all. Yeah. So, you know, if you just set, like for me, when I was um, meal prepping, I'd always cook on the Sunday, mm -hmm. and I'd always cook on the Wednesday, and then like a Friday. Mm -hmm. So just every few days, and we'd do a batch cook, and then I would put it all in one big container, and then we'd just grab our food and eat, right? Yeah. But then we have our air fryer, right? So then when, we are, when we're eating leftover food, put in the air fryer, and it's just like fresh all over again. Because yeah. you're crisping it up, right? Yeah. Love it. Yes. I love it. This new healthy lifestyle, guys, get on it. <laughs> so what types of food are you eating now? Because you said that you're... Um... So I'm taking all Filipino favorites because that's what I know. That's what I grew up with. Yeah. And I'm turning it into high protein. And there's days... So it, when I'm working out with Fit Club, I know like when my high ca my cardio days are or yeah. if I'm going to lift heavy. Yeah. So if I'm going to lift heavy, I'm going to have a like more fat the neck the day before so that I have energy for that or if I know I'm gonna do cardio the next day I'm gonna have more carbs the day before so that I have all that energy for the, the workouts and it, and also it's different for everybody right so like I've experimented a lot and that's where I'm I think my peak is at and everyone's different so if you need advice or you need help with like recipe ideas or just substituting a lot. I've been cooking for almost 10 years. So mm -hmm. it just it just goes to show that like when you have a passion for something, you just keep going. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. RJ and you guys help me out so much. Aww. So thank you. you. Know, no, I mean, we provide the tools for you and yeah. it's really you, right? Yeah. You yeah. following <laughs> and you being dedicated is what is yeah. working. So yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, this uh, should take about five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. But you know, let's go and plate our zucchini poppers so it looks presentable. So, uh, I'll just go and grab my tongs. Oh. How many did we make? One, two, three, four. It said 20 or 24, but you don't want small zucchini poppers. Mm -hmm. I don't, anyways. Actually, these look like meatballs. They do. Oh yeah, we can like, but even if you like flatten them and then put them in the air fryer for the the ones who have air fryers, because I know we've been plugging them a lot. Yes. <laughs> um, you would crisp it up because what I noticed with the air fryers is that it just takes out the extra fat. Whereas like where you deep fry something, which makes sense, you're adding more fat to it to make it taste good. Mm -hmm. So the opposite is... Because you can also use this as a dehydrator. Yeah, it has a, all of it. It has like rotisserie, dehydrate, roast. And rotisserie actually is one of my favorite things to do too. Rotisserie like, chickens? Um, I used to work at King and Ban, which is a sandwich shop, and they would do um, folded or rolled pork belly inside another pork belly. So it was. Excellent, but not good. I accidentally <laughs> turned off the stove. Oh, okay. So I just turned it back on. Okay. So Anita, here's that clean barbecue sauce. That you don't have to scrape off. Yeah. And this will keep um, in the fridge for quite some time, yeah. like three months or so. Yeah. Just want to put it in an airtight container and it should last. Or you can also freeze it too. So we're just going to let it simmer for a mm -hmm. bit. And then we're going to dip our poppers with this. Yes. 
Woo-hoo. Or you could always use like salsa or homemade um, tzatziki. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to do that because I don't have you over it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, I want of our older um, members, Tanasi, who owns oh, uh, Tanasi. Yes. Santorini. He yes. was here. His tzatziki is everywhere now. It's amazing. So good. Um, I would highly recommend not just for like, um, what is it, for chicken. You could use it as a dip for veggies and stuff. So do it. <laughs> yeah, Tanasi's um, at Santorini Restaurant. Tzatziki is amazing. We always, every time we go there, we would get the tzatziki sauce and mm-hmm. then we would have it with the warmed up pita bread and so good. So good. good. Yeah. yeah. I was just thinking about him the other day because I was, um, because we made, what was it called? Moussaka. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love, I love Greek food too. It's, it's another clean, like, recipe that you can use. Mm-hmm. And you can actually make a lot of things clean, but we're just so used to Let's stir this. Um, having things done so fast and easy. Yeah. And convenient. And that's why McDonald's exists. <laughs> oh, yeah. But there's days where there's days where I do crave McDonald's and I'm like, I can make a burger at home better. But it's just because it's McDonald's and you're like, it's easy. Sometimes we we choose convenience over quality. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes we do. But it's okay. We're all human. So just a low simmer, just for a few more minutes and then it should be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think the like the stevia and the tomato paste, you don't want to burn it. Yeah, you don't want to burn it. Especially if you're going to use it on the grill. Mm-hmm. Um, just, yeah, we're going to be reusing this anyway. So, yeah, just a low heat. And then like, a couple more minutes and it should be good. I want to try it. put it in the sauce. Yes, you try it. You tell me. It smells good. What do you think? Mm, it's tangy, but it's good because once you add the smoke to it, it just balances it out. Again, balance and mouth fatigue, non-existent here. <laughs> mouth fatigue. <laughs> like, why am I thinking of something? <laughs> it just sounds so wrong. <laughs> well, I guess it should be called taste fatigue. Maybe that sounds better. Yeah. Taste fatigue. <laughs> because when, it, when you taste something too much, it's just... I don't know. In Tagalog, we say nakakasawa, which means you get sick of it and you don't want to eat it anymore and you never finish it. Okay, do you want to plate our salad? Yeah. Okay. And plate how a chef would plate it and then I'll get our barbecue sauce. I actually didn't try the barbecue sauce. Let me try it. I love sour, so... (laughs) Oh, do you? Yes. My favorite flavors are bitter and sour. That is sour. Yeah. But um, but when you, like, imagine how it's supposed to taste with, like, mm-hmm. on a grill, I think it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yoink. Okay, so we're just going to dump our barbecue sauce. All right. So this is our little Father's Day barbecue clean eating guide. Looks awesome. So Jerome, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> RJ's at with the kids right now. He's visiting his dad for Father's Day. But he'll enjoy some when he gets back. So thank you, Jessica, so no much problem. for joining me on the show for and having helping me. me. Uh, it's been fun. Yes. Yeah, come again, okay? I will. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for tuning in and all the fathers out there. Happy Happy Father's Father's Day. Day. See you guys next week. Bye.